What's up guys and welcome back to Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now today's video, I have possibly one of the best, one of the most secretest secrets in Bendy and the Ink Machine. And I'm going to be showing it to you guys in this video. But of course, if you guys want to see more Bendy Ink Machine videos like this one, be sure to leave a like on the video. Let's go for just a ton of likes on this video. Like I said, if you enjoy the series and want to see more, hit that like button. And also drop a comment down below saying Bendy if you'd also like to see more. But basically, this new secret that was just found, which I'm going to have a link in the description where I found it from. Basically, there's like a community of people that have been going through the game trying to find every little secret. And I think they're still trying to find one currently at this moment. But... They were kind enough to actually share the game file, and like I said, I'll have their Twitter linked in the description where the game file is located and all that kind of stuff. If you want to head over there and download it, you can, but yeah, this is a pretty insane secret, and it's it's one that I certainly never would have found. Now, we found this area in my playthrough. I remember we walked up to there, and I was like, oh, okay, there's a secret here. Like, there has to be. You can clearly tell there's something back there, but I didn't know how to get back there, and well, now we can, so all we have to do is is hop in and I think we're good to just start from chapter one fresh. I don't think it matters that we continue the save file. I mean, I guess we could, but I'm just gonna try starting fresh and see if we, if, see if we can still get it to work. Cause I, I wanna show you guys the build up to it. But basically, from my understanding, the way of getting this, which I might be a little bit wrong about this, but I don't think you can die a single time while playing the entire game. That's from chapters one through five. You also have to activate like these hidden cutscenes. So like, you know, when you verse the huge searcher oh, on chapter three, I'm which here. that's like a secret boss fight. But if you can Let's defeat that thing, I think without dying from it or without taking a hit from it, you unlock like a secret little cutscene. And then there's also like a searcher that you can find it and it has like Sammy's mask on it. So Sammy actually ends up becoming a searcher, which is pretty insane. And yeah, I'll have that all linked in the description though. Uh, Super Horror Bro, Bro did a very good video on it, kind of breaking it all down and how to do it all. So yeah, that's where I saw it from. So if you want to check him out, definitely do so. I have it linked in the description. But yeah, it, it's pretty crazy to get this. But this luckily, like I said, they were kind enough to just go ahead and link it in... Uh, in the, on their Twitter, so in their Discord. So I went ahead and downloaded it, and now we're here. All right, so let's go ahead and start this up. All you have to do is start the ink machine right there, start that rising, head back here, and if you guys remember, there's this room right here. Now in my playthrough, like I said, we walked in here, we kind of explored a little bit. We, we've seen this room before from the previous update, and we walked over here. And if you guys remember, I walked over here. Oh, okay, it's, so it's actually covered off. So um, I have to click continue. But anyways, I'll go ahead and explain myself. So. You know, we saw this area, and I was like, okay, look, you can clearly tell there's something back there. It's like a staircase. You know, there's like a little hatch right there. I said in my video, I was like, you know, you've got to be able to get back here, but I had no idea how to do it. Well, now we can, so I guess I'm going to have to quit real quick, but it should start me from the area. Let's see. Let's hope it does. Let's see if it puts me right in front of it. Hopefully, it will. I think so, and will it do it? <laughs> That's the question. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it, oh, it actually already started us after it. So basically though, well, hold on, I'll show you guys. All right guys, so I restarted the save file and now we are back. All right, so now it should be open and I can show you guys, yep, it's open. What's behind here? So what's back here is a secret hatch. Now the door is wide open and uh, yeah, you guys can see, looks pretty uh, creepy in there, right? You got the flickering light. You've got just everything here that just spells, that it just says, don't go in here. It literally says, danger, keep out. But we're going to do it anyways. Let's hop in. All right, now, what is at the bottom of these stairs? I already know, but look at this, guys. You're going to be pretty surprised. So we turn the corner, and there it is. Now, if you guys recognize this, you guys know whenever you pass out in this game, you have to go through this ink tunnel to come back to life. And, well, there's a random, you know, little uh, storage down here that just happens to have a doorway that leads into it <laughs> so yeah i don't know about you guys i certainly wouldn't step into this but for you guys i'm gonna go ahead and do it let me know in the comments section down below though would you step in to this giant creepy tunnel yes or no but here we go guys all right so we're going through now what's at the end of this tunnel uh, is gonna pretty it's gonna surprise you guys for sure so let's go ahead and step into the light oh it's so bright there we go and here we are so the secret you get for I guess not dying throughout the entire game, finding all the secret cutscenes, which takes hours and hours and hours, you unlock this mode for the game. You can play through the entire game with this mode on too. So basically it's like an old fashioned, you know, cartoon kind of style for the game. Now I want to know in the comment section down below, do you guys think this is worth it? All right, leave a comment down below. Is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'd be a little upset <laughs> if I was them, like if I spent hours and hours and hours and hours trying to unlock this and this is what I got, but I mean, it's still, it's a cool secret. So you can play through the entire game though like this. Now, 
I don't know if there's any secrets unlocked. I figured. Oh. Guess it took a few people to yep, so I figured let's just go ahead and play through chapter one. Let's see if anything has changed. I doubt it, but I think it's just like a skin for the game. But it's still really, really cool. And it took a lot to find it. Like, I'm really surprised. The people that were able to find this are geniuses because this is something that takes a long time to be able to figure out. I knew that light was going to go out. But yeah, okay, let's just go ahead and go through the factory and uh, see what, if there's anything really too new here. Looks like everything's the same so far. Oh gosh, it's more creepy though. It's it's so weird, like seeing the game like this. I, I recognize oh, it's so creepy. How do I get this to work? All right, we got to go find the, the parts, which luckily I already know where basically. Oh my dude, how does that get me every time? How? How? Th honestly, how does that get me every time? Here. Yeah, who put that there? That's creepy. Oh my who God. did that? Joey, what were you doing? Dude, okay, I'm not even gonna lie though. I feel like it honestly makes the game a little harder. Cause it's probably gonna be a lot harder to be able to see these pieces now, but whatever. We'll be able, we'll we'll make it work. All right, we'll be able to find everything. All right, so we got the wrench now. Is there one over here? I don't think so. I remember there's one. I think there's one over there, but let's go over here first. I know there's one down here and over here too. Let's go ahead and grab this one first. I think the gear is over here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, look at the ink machine with this texture on it. That is crazy. All right, let's grab that. There we go. Okay, so we got our first little cog wheel right there. Now we got to go ahead and head down these stairs again. Oh, wait. What if we head in there again? Oh, I got to try that. But look at that. Look at Bendy with, like, this, like, texture on him. All right, we, we have to try that again, though. Let's see if we can go in there. I right, got the book by Joey Drew. Is it open? Oh, it's sealed. Wait. You know what I want to know? What if you play through the game, the entire game, again, doing the same steps you did to unlock it the first time? What if it unlocked again? <laughs> I bet what if they did that that would be the ultimate troll I hope they did that and then it like you unlock the real secret It's like some secret like cutscene or something that like announces another game that would be incredible I wonder if they've done that yet like tried to do the the entire game all over again I mean it would take hours, but it would certainly be interesting to see if it actually will unlock twice All right, so we got that one. Uh, we gotta go over here and grab. I think there's one over here if I'm not mistaken Is there I know there's one in the room to my left, but is there one over here? Oh, projector. No, we don't need to grab that. They turn that back on. <laughs> it's creepy without that on. All right, I'm gonna leave that. Uh, I'm gonna leave that on for sure. We don't want that turning off. All right, let's go in here. I know there's one over here. Like I think it's in this box or something. Is it? Oh, there it is. The ink jar. All right, now I think the final one we're missing. Oh, it's such a creepy room. What the heck? That's so creepy. But yeah. So there's that room. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and head back this way. I think the final one is in the ink room like where you have to turn on the ink machine around the ink machine oh yeah i guess it's where you like start it i don't know let's head over there though and see if there's anything in that room i'm pretty sure there is i don't know where else we could be missing one to be honest but so far everything seems the same so i think i don't know i feel like uh i think people are kind of disappointed with this but i'm not sure like i was reading some comments about it and it seemed like people were kind of upset that this was the secret and i can kind of see why dude that gets me every time that gets me every time holy I mean, I can kind of see why, because I can see, like, if I were to have done this the entire way through and spent hours and hours working on it, I would certainly be like, okay, I mean, this is cool, but is it worth spending all that time? Okay, I don't know. I like I said, it's up to you guys. Like, what do you guys think? Is this worth it or not to be able to get this, like, texture over it? Some people might see this and be like, no, that's ugly. I prefer the original art style. Or some people see this and be like, yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. But, I mean, me personally, I think it looks, it looks nice. I, I wouldn't do it myself, but it looks nice. All right, so I think that's everything, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and see if we can turn all these in. Pretty sure he said something back there. I just wasn't paying attention. I played this so many times, it's, it's hard for me to pay attention to it. All right, there we go. We got that in. Gear. Yep, we got everything. Perfect. I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Then I can start up the main power. Okay, so I think we got to go. Yeah, we got to go do the pressure valve. I hate how they made us do this though. Like you, you were just there, and now I have to go all the way back to do it. It's like, all right, not like I was just there or anything. You know, this is this is good. Let's head all the way back through. So yeah, we just gotta flip this valve though, and then we gotta flip the switch, and then everything goes bad, and we escape. Which I'm excited to see that chase scene with uh, Bendy. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. I cannot wait to see that. There he is. All oh, the creepy projector automatically turning on. Okay, we got the valve switched on. The ink's flowing. I don't. What the? Is that whistling always? Yeah, I think that whistling was always there. I don't remember that happening, though. The room flooding. Like, I remember it floods, but I don't remember it coming out of the pipe like that. Turn on the ink machine. All right, time to do it. 
creepy sound effects in the background too. It's never a good sign. All right, here we go, guys. Time to start the final, the finale here to get out of this chapter. Turning on the ink machine, the main power. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Like, froze my game. Whoa, it's really dark and creepy. Oh, this is creepy. This is way creepier than before. Look at Boris in this light. Oh my, dude, that is so creepy. This, yeah, this makes it way scarier. All right, let's go back through here now. Oh no. I feel like something's just gonna show up. Like, cause this is like a new mode that not many people have played. Anything could happen, but no, I think we're, I think we're fine, right? Yeah, we should be okay. All right, here we go. And there it is. Oh, the bendy. There he goes. Okay, now we gotta run. Let's get out of here. Wait, where's all the ink on the floor? I guess it just, yeah, there it goes. Okay, it's starting to show up now. I remember there being more though. Oh, there it goes. It's filling in the spots. Luckily, we're not being chased by anything. Dreams come true. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, what if we used? No, I doubt it. I, I don't think so. I forgot we even had this thing, but I doubt it. Let's see. Is there anything new here? Uh, every direction. No, I don't. I think that that was there before. I'm curious though. I'm wondering like if this texture would unlock like secrets, but no, that was all there before. It's nothing new yet. I don't know. Like, there's the exit with that light on it. That is so cool. And there we go. We fall. All right, now we're down here. Let's go ahead and start draining the rooms. Grab the axe. And get out of this chapter. Yeah, everything looks normal in here. Don't notice any significant differences. Look around with this thing. Looks pretty normal. I wish I would have remembered that we had this thing at the beginning, though. But I don't think... I, I doubt that there is anything there. Like I said, this group that found this is has been looking through the entire game, like from start to finish, every little speck, every little morsel. So I'm pretty sure they would have found it by now, but dang, what the heck? Oh, that, I thought these were like dolls. Like that lighting just makes everything look creepier. All right, let's go down here. It's not creepy at all down here, you know, it's the black and white, the, the covered in ink part. That's not terrifying. Anything in here? Nope, looks like we're good. All right, here we go. Where's the axe at? There we go. This will definitely come in handy. Oh, yes, it will. Let's go ahead and break this down. Let me through. I'm trying to complete this chapter. Move out of the way, stupid boards. There we go. All right, now, what do you got for me over here? Wait, was this door always here? I guess it was. I don't remember that. All right, here we go. This is where we get knocked out. Oh, my. Whoa. And we're out. And then we wake up in chapter two. So, guys, I'm going to end this first video here, though. Um, I would say, would you guys want to see me play through the whole game again with this? But I I don't know. Like, I don't want to play through the entire game and there's nothing new. I have a feeling it's only, you know, just the, uh, the look to the game that's changed. I don't think anything in the actual game is different. But it would be interesting. Like, you beat the game and maybe you have, like, another ending or something new happens. There's only one thing to do. But... Press find on. a way out. See if I can find a way out. See if I can find a way out. But yeah, so I don't know. I mean, it would be cool to just see the the boss fights, like everything that we've seen in the game with this texture. Like it'd be cool to see the ending with this texture and stuff like that. But I don't know. I might just do one video. Like, tell me if you guys would want to see that, where we just do one video that's like two hours long. I've never done a video that long before, but you know, we just do a full on video where I play through the entire game with this texture on, and we see what's new or what's old or if anything happens at all. I have a feeling, though, probably nothing. I think it's just, you know, just a simple visual mod, and that's about it. But it would be cool. I don't know. Like, guys, if you want to see that, leave a like on the video, all right? Let's go for just a ton of likes on this video, and I will definitely hop back on, and we'll do a two-hour, three-hour, however long video where we play through the entire game with this texture mod on, because I certainly wouldn't mind doing that. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.